And so now I have 50 lectures worth of material to go through in one week. So this is seriously cramming. So our course doesn't have midterms and that's why we have a whole module worth of material to go through for one exam. So we only have one exam for one module. And so I think it's actually more difficult than midterms because I feel like there's just so much content to go through. And I am very, very unprepared for these exams. So this exam work will be in two parts because my um, exams are actually two days apart and I feel like there's just so much to film between the days where I'm preparing for the exams and my actual exams. So it will be in two parts. I just printed some um, exam questions out we have only two papers so like we were only given two papers and so that means we're given like um 12 questions in total and that's all the kind of like past questions that we get um but i kind of made up some like questions just for revision and kind of like practice purposes today i decided to study for my cancer module I try to write as many essays as I can because my exams are heavily essay based. One of the essays I wrote actually came up on exam and so I finished that question in like 20 minutes as opposed to 60 minutes. So I definitely recommend writing essays for biochemistry. software that I'm using to revise is called Xmind and I basically just create my maps and then I use this um, pitch function here as well as sometimes using the Zen function to kind of like focus on the individual topic. One of the new things I started doing is creating mind maps from memory. I find that it helps me to associate the different subtopics to the main topic and allows me to see the bigger picture since we have so many processes and names to remember. So this was really, really helpful. For those who are doing a similar degree to me, some more biology based, I would really recommend reading review papers because it really just helps you to know what knowledge you need to know to understand the topic fully and what your lecturer also expects you to know. And it also puts it into a broader context and illustrates the importance of what you're studying and perhaps that might spark your interest in the topic. Required for the TP. 
Full damage. Checkpoint. That should be. Okay, I just kind of wrote like the key names I need to remember for this um, my map, and this is like for I think three to four lectures and these are only the names i have to remember and a bit of like what they do but yeah lip injection lip gloss I always put it on top of my lipsticks and I don't think it's supposed to do that so it actually smells a little funky but I might get a new one <laughs> I need to get a new one soon we got a spicy soup base I think that's a mushroom soup base a cup is the one and I forgot what the other one is yeah, we've got four flavors. Yeah. This is the apple pie. This is supposed to be 
letter M for my name, but you can't really tell. I'm gonna read this review. This review is like 50 pages long. My phone is literally so dead. I realize I don't have a charger back here. I got the Drinko anti frizz treatment. After these two weeks preparing for exams, I've been using the Pomodoro technique, especially after long study sessions where I find it harder to focus. I will normally take a longer break after five to six Pomodoro sessions. I would also recommend not studying longer six hours unless you absolutely have to, because after six hours there's diminishing returns and it becomes counterproductive. I feel like at that point you might as well go and enjoy some Korean dramas or singles in flannel or whatever. Three down, another three to go. study because I don't know if you can tell it's already really dark outside it's like three p.m. I'm not sure. 